Following the kidnap and murder of a Catholic seminarian, Michael Nadi, by suspected kidnappers in Kaduna State, the Nigerian police force says it has arrested three suspects who are alleged to have been part of those that carried out the operation. Nadi, a seminarian with the Good Shepherd Major Seminary in Goningora, Goningora located in Chikun, local government uh, area of Kaduna State, was one out of four seminarians abducted on January the 9th, 2020, but was later murdered in cold blood by the kidnappers, while three of his colleagues were released after a ransom was secured by the gunmen. However, in what can be described as a major breakthrough, the Nigeria police says it has arrested three suspects alleged to have participated in the operation. The police, via a statement in Abuja on Sunday, said the three suspects are part of a 19-man gang responsible for, the other, for, for other high-profile abductions in the Chukun local government area of Kaduna State. And joining us this morning, uh, we have Reverend Father Patrick Alumoko, the Director of Communications of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja. Good morning, Father. Uh, good morning. And it's good to have you. Um, first of all, what is the feeling like within the Catholic community upon hearing the news that some members of the group that stormed the Goningora Seminary in Chikun local government area of Kaduna State in January have been arrested? <laughs> the feeling is one of great relief for the church, uh, not only for the Diocese of uh, Sokoto to which the seminarian belongs, but to all of us indeed. And uh, the joy that uh, finally uh, justice uh, may be brought to, to bear in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we saw the statement right, released by the police, but the question is, has the police, the police formally communicated with the Catholic Church in Kaduna or the Abuja Archdiocese to inform you that these suspects have been arrested and indeed these are the suspects uh, you know, connected to that murder? Yes, indeed. The police have um, been in touch with the Diocese of Sokoto. Remember this uh, seminarian was a student in Kaduna and uh, the seminaries have students from different dioceses. So this particular seminarian was a student of Sokoto Diocese. And um, I have confirmation that uh, the authorities in Sokoto have, uh, have been contacted. They've spoken to the police. In fact, they spoke to the police uh, spokesperson, Mba, who signed that document, who confirmed that this um, is true. And... Um, uh, they appreciate uh, highly the effort of the IG of police who made this a, a particular um, occasion to be able to find uh, these suspects, uh, which is actually giving a lot of hope also um, uh, for other cases in this country. Mm -hmm. The same question will go for, you know, the loss indeed is for the Catholic Church, you know, at large as a community of believers. But at a pre on a personal level, it's also for the family members. So would you know if the family members have been contacted about this news of the arrest of the, the suspected uh, uh, kidnappers? And if yes, how are they taking that? No, I'm, I'm not in touch with the family. And, um, you know, I did not do any as such in that direction. But I believe that, um, you know, the family would be contacted when finally, for example, everything is confirmed and maybe judgment is made because at this point, uh, the investigations are still on. Although the police say that they have done intensive investigation and extensive efforts uh, in these last three months to, to find uh, uh, these criminals. Uh, I believe that it would be better to let the families know um, in the end when finally they have found um, that these are actually the culprits. Of course, the police say that these three have already confessed to that and to other crimes as well, um, and that they were members of a 19-man gang, um, and so on and so forth. But I believe that, um, you know, there, there are more investigations to be made, and... Um, and uh, when they are charged to court and 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 so on, the the, the family will be will be brought into the picture. 
Father Patrick, we have seen attacks and abductions of priests in other parts of the country, especially the Southeast. Uh, do you think this arrest will send a strong message to criminal elements uh, that there is no hiding place for crime? This is a very positive uh, move by the police. And we've always known that if the police wanted, they have the capacity to arrest criminals, whether they are these armed gangs, whether they are kidnappers um, or they are killers of, 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 this, of this nature, as well as what is well known in this country as uh, Fulani Headsmen. Um, we are aware, aware that the police, when they have the will, uh, uh, have the capacity to arrest these people. So we're not really surprised at this uh, happening. It's a very positive uh, uh, news. We do hope that uh, they will uh, pick up not only this uh, uh, case, but they will pick up other cases. There are many priests, uh, sisters, uh, religious, Christian leaders who have been arrested and um, some decapitated, um, uh, some who were killed. Nobody has ever said anything about you know, what has happened in their, in their own cases. But there are also uh, not only the priests who are concerned about what is happening in the whole country, that uh, Nigerians all over um, are, 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 are taking, uh, are kidnapped from day to day, from week to week. And people have been crying in the last one or two years uh, over this. We do believe that this is a very positive signal but the police should go and they know they have the backing of the people. They, they, their work is to be able to take care of the criminal elements in our nation, and they can do that. They have our prayers, Father they have Patrick, our support. I must say thank you so very much, and please do keep safe.